friends, viewers, and scholars, you are welcome to Junuti online class. In this class, we have maths up on the board. Of course, we are to solve this mathematics, which is an answer of, from past questions as you prepare for JAM and um, SSE exams. Okay, um, the question is from trigonometry. Each time you see the Sokatua functions like sine, time, cosine, in trigonometry, which is the study of triangles. Of course, special triangles in that case, right angle triangle should come to mind quickly. Now, we are given that tangent theta is equal to 5 over 12. Then we are asked to find the value of sine theta minus cos theta with this array of options. The solution quickly, the first thing to do here is to draw a right angle triangle, placing the given one according to the function or the ratio, not arbitrarily. Then we have this as our right angle triangle, as a triangle with one of its angles as right or 90 degree. So having this as my theta, then this line opposite facing it is the opposite, while the other line is the adjacent. Do not forget that the only constant here is the hypotenuse, which is the longest line facing the right angle, no matter how it is drawn. In this case, we are given that tangent theta, tangent theta is equal to 5 over 12. Ask yourself, what is the ratio for tangent theta? Rem remembering the mnemonic Sokatua, we now have that, we now have this Sokatua. Sine is opposed to hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent to hypotenuse. Right tangent is opposed to our what? Adjacent. So this means that 5 over 12, the 5 is the opposite, then 12 is the adjacent. So 5 should be here, and 12 should be what? Here. That is opposite to our what? Adjacent. This is very important because another question might come up with sine theta given that you place the fraction according to the what? The function or the ratio of that particular function. If it is cosine, it should be adjacent to a hypotenuse. Now, what is the next step? The next step here is to find the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, in this triangle. Then we use the Pythagoras rule or the Pythagoras formula. We say that the square of the longest side is if, or that the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that will be that, let's call this place x. We have that our x squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared, and which is equal to 25 plus what? 144. Then if we continue, we have that our x squared is equal to 25 plus 144 will give us 169. Therefore, to find the value of x, you take the square root of both sides. Therefore, x is equal to square root of 169, which is equal to 13. Because 13 times 13 will give us 169. Then what is the next step? Having found this place to be 13, then we now find the ratios that are involved in our question. Of course, our question involves sine and cosine. From the triangle, sine theta will now be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That is 5 over 13. And our cos theta will now be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. That is 12 over 13. 12 over 13. Because this is our hypotenuse. This is our opposite. And this is our adjacent in this particular triangle. Notes. If this theta is here, here becomes the opposite facing it. While here becomes the adjacent, here remains the hypotenuse as it faces the what? Right angle. Then, now let's solve the uh, question. We are asked to find sine theta minus cos theta. Therefore, sine theta minus cos theta will now be equal to 5 over 13 minus 12 over 13. The LCM is simply 13. Then when I have 5 minus 12, it is equal to minus 7. I will have minus 7 over what? 13. So our answer here is equal to minus 7 over 13. Very simple. Let's go to our options. In our options, we have 7 over 13, but that's not the right answer. But the right answer is option B, which is minus 7 over 13. 
Thank you for paying attention to this class. I believe you must have learned something from this. For more of these solutions, keep visiting this YouTube channel, Joe Newton Online Class. Also, subscribe and share if you have not done so. Click the notification button and also follow me on my Facebook page at Joe Newton Online Class. Do not forget, if you need private tutorial lesson, you can also reach out to me through my WhatsApp contact here on the board here. You can see it there. You can also give me a call. I wish you success. Thank you, and God bless you.